What is going on everybody? It is your boy Calyx here and in today's video I'm going to be making a quick little tutorial on how to mod any Unity game. You heard me right, any Unity game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, go to the description and download Asset Bundle Extractor. And um, I also recommend downloading Asset Studio. So after you have all that downloaded, go to your game and um, just go to settings, um, properties, local files, then browse. It should open up this directory right here. So once you do that, go to your game files underscore data or your game underscore data. So once you're here, copy your directory, then open up Asset Studio. Once it's open, go to file, load file, then copy your directory after this if you don't know where your model is or like the model that you want to replace is then i recommend just dumping the whole file in here but since i already know where um what i want to mod and i'm going to mod a katana so um i know that it would be in this shared assets folder make sure it's not this resource folder make sure it says assets at the end so open it up and wait for it to load so once it loads go to asset list then just type in the name of the model that you need so i'm um the model that i need is called blade underscore lp right here make sure it's a mesh by the way so uh this is what i want to replace the katana in the game um so after that now you know the name of it um if you didn't know the name of it then you're gonna have to go through every file i recommend putting um type and then looking for meshes so right here and then just gliding through all of them until you find the right one now that's done you can close out of asset studio because you know the name next you want to open up asset bundle extractor then go to file open and copy the directory again of your sport more data then copy the file directory of the game then once again open up assets um, click over here on the plus icon and then you'll find all of these um, different assets so just go to view search by name and now you put that name of the model so mine was blade underscore lp but okay if it doesn't pop up the first time then press f3 until you find mesh until it lines up with mesh so then go to click on it go to plugins and then export it um obj so i'm gonna save it into this katana folder but you can save it wherever you want just make sure you remember where it is next you're gonna want to fire up unity and create a new project and make sure the editor version is the exact same as the game because if it's not then the game will crash so just create the project i already have a project so i'm just gonna open it up so now that you're here all you're gonna have to do is go to where you saved your obj then just drag it and drop it into unity then drag the model into the game so now that it's here after that all you're gonna want to do next is drag and drop your model into unity once that's done you're going to want to also put that one in the scene now you may notice it may be a little bit bigger but a little bit smaller than the actual model and that's why you, you want to put it in here and that's why you want this model the original model to begin with so you have a rough idea of where you need to scale it so all that's left is to scale it now personally i do not know how to scale stuff in unity but you can use stuff like blender and it should work just make sure you export the file as an obj file so since i already have a scaled down version i'm just gonna drag it and drop it in here so once you have it all scaled up or down um you're going to want to delete the original so all that's left should be your replacement model after that just go to file build settings and build select the folder that you want to build it to once it's built you're going to want to go to my project data and see that shared assets folder again well you're not going to want to click on there right now you're going to want to click on shared assets zero dot assets dot r e s s just rename it to whatever you want i'm going to put it as knife so after that open up asset bundle extractor once again also copy the directory of 
Also copy the directory of where you have um, your game file. So open, then paste the directory. Now that you're here, go to shared assets. So open it up once again, and whatever you have it as, um, the mesh, it may not be the same thing like for mine, it's blade.lp here, but on asset bundle extractor, it may be named as default. Just make sure it has the mesh. Next, you want to export DOM. Then save. So now you can close out of asset bundle extractor, and close out of Unity. Now that you have your RESS file, and make sure, once again, make sure it's named, just drag it and drop it into the directory. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to drag it and drop it just because I already have um, the file right here. It's a different name, but it's the same thing. Next, you're going to want to open up Acid Bundle Extractor once again, and go to your game. Next, just go to sharedassets.0 once again, open it up, and look for your model once more. So blade.lp in my situation. So now that you're here, you may just think, hey, well, import dump. Well, not just yet. This is a very important part that you also need to do. You're going to want to go to wherever you saved your text document or your dumped file. Then you're going to want to open set file. Next, all you're going to want to do is type assets. And it should bring you here. Make sure it has one string path equals. After that, all you gotta do is um, replace this with whatever the name of your RESS file was. In my case, it was knife, so just replace it with knife. Then go to file and save. After that, then you're going to want to imp after that, then you're gonna want to import your dump, and then click on your TXT. So then open it up. Then you should be good. Now all you have to do is just apply and save it wherever you want. Now that you have it saved, you can close out an asset bundle extractor. Next, go to wherever you saved the file. Make sure it is not in the same game folder as whatever your game is dot data or underscore data. Because if you do, then it's, you're going to have to erase the game and then reinstall it. So then make sure you save the vanilla files of the game. So just to copy it and paste it wherever you want. Next, just drag and drop your file into the game and replace the file. After that, you should be good and you should be able to start your game. Now that you're in your game, uh, you can just spawn in. You can just go to your model. So in my case, I'm going to the katana. And there it is. So what I had to do is texture it. And if you want to find out how to texture it, um, leave me a comment in the comment section down below and I will teach you how to texture it. But here it is. This is the HF blade from Metal Gear Rising and I think it looks pretty sick. Now um, it actually it does work but I'm not gonna be able to use it right now because of um, obvi <laughs> because of obvious reasons of using a weapon like this. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, if you did, smash like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you want to see this texturing video, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. But without any further ado guys, I'm Calyx and I will see you all in the next video. Talk to you all later.